friends. We are back at Coronado Springs. This is my favorite resort of all yeah. time. We're here to check up on the construction, as you can tell by the big structure behind us. We'll get to that a little bit later. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna go in here, we're gonna check on the food options, because I know that one of the restaurants were closed, so maybe it might have opened again. And then the future plans, uh, including a restaurant out on the water, this gigantic new hotel resort. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's go do this. I'll join. Oh, okay, let's go. We have arrived. And look at those gigantic doors. Yeah, they are Mikasa. I'd love to see them actually close those doors and see that what it looks really like. Fun. It's your favorite fountain. It is my favorite fountain, La Pina. De Las Palomas. This fountain is Veronica's favorite fountain. It's beautiful, but the ceiling is just as beautiful. Look at that. So if you noticed, the shots of the construction work on the way in. That's what that's gonna be right there. How is this gonna be done by summer? It's gonna be done coming summer to 2019. Oh, so that's where I got yes. to Yes. Oh, you think 2018? Yeah, I thought we were in 2019. Okay. Yes. And that is gonna be the new restaurant slash lounge right in the middle of the water, right here. You know that guy? Do I know who? Oh, I don't know who that is, no. Mm -hmm. Every time we come to Coronado Springs, we make it a point to stop a Panchitos to see our little friend. There's our little friend. Oh, don't you look adorable, both of you, I guess. You look very happy. <laughs> Another cool thing to point out, though, is look at the tile work up here. The three Cabaneros, the three Cabaneros. What you doing there? There's the registration area. And we're gonna head outside to see this beautiful sun. Oh, we definitely have some sun this weekend. Ooh. Last time we were here, this ramp was not here. Well, this is eventually gonna be like a boardwalk or a walkway to get to the restaurant in the middle of the lake there. And you can see the yellow crane on it. Maybe we'll get a better view from the other side, but I'm excited for that, because that's gonna be pretty pretty. Pretty pretty nifty. One of the reasons this is uh, Yip's favorite resort is what we're doing right now. We're just like sitting here by the water. It's a beautiful view and it's just very nice. It's cozy, it's awesome. You know, it's fiesta -y. Yeah, your favorite pavilion in Epcot is the Mexico Pavilion, so it's kind of a lot like that. But uh, we want to show off a little bit of the view because it's fun. It's really nice. You got the Laguna Bar right over there and then all of this to take in amazing even though there's construction going on I really feel like it does not affect it because like the big construction is over there but this little thing right there that's just only opportunity and excitement it drops in the ocean drops in the ocean little squirrel little squirrel don't feed the wildlife I would never thank you out of all the construction going on at the Disney World Resorts, I think I'm most excited about this right here. I cannot wait to go in there. It's going to be so beautiful at night. And walking through the lake, to, like walking through the lake to get to the other side, because you know the pool is over there. This is a huge, huge game changer, because it's a long walk. I mean, if you're over on this side, you got to walk all the way around to get to the pool over there, or if you're on this side, you got to walk all the way around to get to the pool on that side. So this is actually going to be very quick. Um, it doesn't go straight across it only goes like this and then that but it still cuts a lot of footsteps and it's gonna be beautiful just emphasizing how wonderful I'm excited for that this background music is so groovy too it's very calming and relaxing but actually some of our friends are actually staying here so we're gonna stop back into the main lobby and say hello real quick and then go about yeah. the resort yeah just ran into Olivia and her family. Yes, they were so lovely. Yes, thanks for saying hello. It was so great. It was so random that you guys ended up staying at this resort. Yeah. And now we're gonna continue on showing off more of the construction because I'm staring at that big construction right now. And thank you for the presents. I love them so much, <laughs> so much. And there it is, the front side or back side. I'm not even sure. I think it's more the front side because I think that's gonna be the entrance 
but look at it, it's coming along. It's gonna have so many rooms. Beautiful. And I also noticed the lucky people that end up getting the rooms up top are gonna have a beautiful view out. Look at that. The sun's setting, it's around like what, almost eight o'clock? Uh -huh. It's crazy seeing the sun out that bright at eight o'clock, isn't it? I like it. So now we're gonna head over to the pool area over there, but this is Veronica's favorite pool area I right love here. This pool area, the slide. <laughs> right there, look at that water slide. The slide shut off, but. And they got beautiful sandy beaches. The white sand beaches. Oh, a and you can swim with turtles. Can you see that little guy there? Nothing. Yeah. Look at him swimming about. For the noise factor, the construction, you don't hear any noise actually, except for, for that water pump over there. It's still a beautiful sight. Well, if you start over on this side, but when you end up over here, it gets a little rocky or sandy or dirty, muddy. Poopy. Yeah. To clarify, yeah? Veronica's favorite pool area is not going to be a future pool. Oh, okay. I, I, didn't know I just wanted to point say. that out. And I've also offered Veronica $100 to actually go down that water slide. Always use your imagination. And when I went to hop over the fence, he took his $100 back. I said, no, no, no. We're trying to figure out what kind of animal this is, and I'm thinking it's a snake. Well, I called it an ancient aku. Look, it's like a snake. Call it what I call it. An ancient aku. Aku. What does that even mean? I don't know. I hope it's not like a bad word. Oh, boy. <laughs> Veronica's favorite pool. This is my favorite pool, too, because it's just so themed and beautiful. I like walking by the stairs. Yes. I love coming up this little bridgeway because you get to see people going down the water slide itself. Oh, there you go. Woo! But please do not jump or die from this bridge on either side. You can actually climb up these stairs up to where those tree or roots are and you will not get kicked out of Disney like somebody did do at Epcot at the stairs of the Mexico Pavilion there. And look at the water runs right down into the pool. We call that the Epcot Challenge. <laughs> Coronado is not short on lounges and restaurants and places you can grab something to eat. And by the pool, they have siestas. Siestas. Nueva. Oh. Pata. Siestas. And they actually even have food here. Appetizers and entrees. Cheeseburgers, BLT chicken wrap, fish tacos, nachos, chicken wings. They've got a lot. Plus a full service bar. One of the coolest viewing areas is right here on the volleyball court. If you walk out a little bit, and I'm gonna regret this because Waha! Yip is throwing the volleyball. I wanted it. What are you doing? Oh, she found the volleyball. Whoa! So I'm setting the camera on Yip's shoulder because there's something over here I wanna show you, but we're gonna have to use some amazing zoom. If you look right in between those two buildings there, you can see Expedition Everest. And you can also see the part of the coaster when you go up the and the, part. Yeah, the Yeti tears up the tracks. You can actually see it. It's pretty amazing. So here we go. We're zooming in. Wow. We came over to the pool because we wanted to show off a little bit of the pool and the amazing waterfall, but we also wanted to show you a little bit of the backside of the new restaurant on the lake that's being built. And it's looking pretty cool. And right there, smack dab right in the middle of the lake, the new restaurant lounge is being built. And you can see the crane is actually floating on a barge. We actually just took a minute or two and sat down here on the grass and watched this sunset because it's so beautiful. We're gonna make our way back to the dining area to check out uh, to see the restaurants, but we noticed that the lights are turned on over here. Oh, and did you notice? Yip's wearing one of our new shirts. Oh, yes. Always wait for the monorail shot. And you can check that out if you wanted to. Our spreadsheet, spreadshirt is located in the description of this video. Beautiful though. 
it's not too dark yet but you can still see the lights turned on maybe by the time we get over near uh, the patio bar area they'll actually be on over there and you can see it but it's still pretty pretty here pretty pretty look at that view hey there's Olivia <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go inside now and check out all the different food spots and lounges. I know the Ritz Lounge actually just recently got remodeled, but I don't know if the restaurant is open yet because that is closed for refurbishment. And here is the Ritz Sports Bar and Grill. Hours of operation, 11 a.m. to 12 a.m. Sometimes they're open till two, I don't know, but they used to have cool swinging boots, but they don't have them anymore. And it can get very crowded in the Rick's Lounge. The way it used to look before was a lot better, I feel like. Now it's more of a sports bar, but before they had a lot of cool, interesting stuff and decor. Now it's a lot of TV screens and just plain old tables. Are you communicating with that horse? I sounded like Scooby-Doo there. A Robbie Roo? <laughs> this used to be Las Ventanas, which used to be the restaurant for the Rick's Lounge. But now that they remodeled the Rick's Lounge, they don't use this anymore. Yeah. It doesn't they exist. There's food now at Rick's. Yeah, the Rick's Lounge has a full kitchen, a full menu. Before it was just a lounge and they sold like appetizers and small plates. Now. I'm sorry. <laughs> But now it is uh, just used for private events. That's really sad. And rolling up silverware. And rolling up silverware, we found out. That's where the servers do their side work. I was a server once. Yes. And here is the pepper market. A little bit under refurbishment, as you can see. They're updating a little bit. So very cool here, so many options. I like it a lot. Inside the pepper market, there is a cast member here who has an unbelievable talent. And we're gonna try to find him to show him off a little bit because it's amazing. I hope we find him. Yeah, let's look for him, okay? We found him! We found him. Um, Harmonica the Joey. Shovel. Oh yeah, this is called the Avocado Shovel by Harmonica Joey. Look at that. Make sure you guys stop in and say hi to Harmonica Joey. He's awesome. <laughs> so people like Joey, it really is such a great thing. Just to, as a cast member, he's out here. I think he's doing custodial. Yeah. And he's got such an unbelievable talent. It's Disney magic at its yeah, best right there. Yeah, we love running into Harmonica yeah. Joey so much. Make sure you say hello if you're staying here because he really does love it. Yes. He so, loves what he does and yeah. that's what I love about him. Absolutely. So I think we're done with today. So love the life you live. That was the most souls I've ever heard, but live the life you love. And we will see you next time. Toodaloo! Gracie! Woo. You missed us! Did you miss us? And this is our Gracie Daily Clip.